Hey guys, here we are back at the shop. Um, I've got a friend of mine I'm doing this video, kind of do this video for, video for and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do it all and show you how, how I, I paint um, a resin casting. As far as, this is a floating dock. It also has a, um, a ramp to it. But I'm, I'm just going to try to show you how we go from um, the resin piece here and come up with this. Now to me, looking in the viewfinder, this looks a little bit darker than it actually is. This is actually a, a kind of a, a, a medium gray finish we have on this. Um, I hope you can see it. Uh, but anyway, I was going to go through the steps of uh, painting all, painting this piece for you. Um, what I do, very first thing you have to do is to any resin piece, I don't care where you say you get it, is I'd go ahead and wash it in a good uh, degreasing soap because um, most everybody to make a mold last hour is going to use a mold release it just you get like twice the number of pulls out of it that you do without one anyway first of all you're going to go and wash it really well i use a, a, a really soft like a soft scrub brush to make sure i get down in all the creases and everything because you want your uh, paint to stick really well um, so i'm gonna go ahead and get this washed um, next thing i do i use the rust-oleum self-etching primer you want to prime this stuff's really slick um you want you want something to stick to it pretty well and a self-etching primer seems to uh hold up pretty well to it anyway uh so we've got the side it's got the sides and the top to be done so i'm gonna go ahead and get this washed get it primed and we'll move along from there okay guys here we are back at the table i've got this all primed up um it took, you know, I, I made sure I got a, a, a real good coverage on it. And you can tell it, to me it's like a just a slight uh, green gray or gray green. Anyway, once we get that done, we'll come back to the table. I'm going to show you the paints I'm going to use. Uh, the very first one I'm going to use is um, the Folk Art. I just get this at Hobby Lobby uh, or Michaels or wherever. And um, this is barn wood is the color we're using here. Um, now, I found these brushes at Hobby Lobby, and I can't find original packaging, but it's a Royal Majestic 4055. That's a number 14. And I think it said it was a scrubber brush. I, I'm not a big artist person, so I don't know the, but I like the way it, uh, the, it's, you can see it's kind of round. Um, it's, it's a good scrubber brush. You can uh, rub things in pretty well with it. But anyway, when I'm putting this on, let's use something for, mixing. I just take a little bit of the barn wood. Let's see here. All right, get, make sure I'm on the table here. And I just put some on the table. And we're not going to quite do a dry brushing technique. I'm just, uh, I load it up. I do get a lot of it out, but not all. And then we're just going to start rubbing it. Now, it's going to look like it's going to get really light, but we got our next step will, uh, change it so we're going to take and we're going to do the whole thing you can see where you can just see uh i'm getting a little bit into crevices but we're not we're not overloading it into it If you feel like you got too much in the area, this is pretty good. You can just pull it out. I got the bus a little bit too wet. Thing. 
Okay, we got all the base done. Right now we're just going to turn up on the edges. Do the same thing for the edges. So you can still see some of the gray through it, but you see, I mean, it got decent co coverage of the barn wood. That's the good thing about working with these water, these uh, acrylics. You can rub a lot of what you put in there out if you don't, if you think you got it on too heavy. Um, but you do want to, uh, okay, I got that on there, and it's not quite a gray, it's kind of a brownish gray. Uh, the one thing you do want to do is if uh, you're doing a, uh, also made a, um, like a ramp that would go down to the uh, dock, you need to go ahead and do both of them at the same time. It kind of keeps your colors. I did this one later from the other dock, and this has just turned a slight bit darker. A little bit browner than the other one did so you want to try to do both both pieces at the same time so now i've got this all painted we're going to let that set uh about 15 20 minutes i usually put it under a fan and just let it uh, let it dry pretty quick i'll let this dry out and then we'll um, come back i'll show you where we go from there all right guys here we are back at the table um this is dried out now um you can see i've got it um kind of there's some areas a little bit heavier than those, but we're getting ready to uh, darken this all back up. The next thing I do is I use um, an alcohol wash. Uh, but what I'm using is, I don't use, um, I'm using Feebling's leather dye. There, I got black and the uh, number 121 medium brown. I got both of those. I use those to mix with alcohol. Another thing you may want to look into, a lot of people try to have a hard time finding alcohol that they want to use, um, trying to find the 91% alcohol. What I do is I go down to the local uh, motorcycle shop, the racing motorcycle shop or go-kart shop. Uh, this was a, um, a gallon of their alcohol. I mean, it's 100% alcohol, it's not the 91%. It was six fifty for the for the gallon. That included having to pay for the jug. You take your own jug over there, it'll be even cheaper. But this stuff works really well. Um, I think it's the same thing as the other alcohol. I'm, I'm not sure, but it works just as just as um, well as um, the alcohol you buy at the drugstore. But anyway, it works really well. I, about in every city or every so often, you'll have the, uh, the motorcycle shops. But anyway, what I do is. Um, I mix, it's just, I just start putting a couple drops of each in there until I get a mixture that I like. It does have, it's more black than it is brown, it just gives it a little bit different tint. Uh, I'm sorry I can't give you the, the mixture, but I, this actually, actually had totally dried out. It was laying on the bottom and I poured alcohol back in there and it just, it came back to us as if it was, um, um, I had just made it. But anyway, all we're doing now is taking the, um, the piece here. And I got a nice soft brush that I use for applying the alcohol. And all I do is I come in here and just rub it into it. Just brush it on. I am wearing a glove because this stuff will stain your hand. And I did find out it's best to get, if you're gonna start, go ahead and whatever you're using, get the whole coat on there because if you come back and recoat, you can tell the parting lines.
or if you do ready recoat, recoat the whole thing. All right. Alright, we got the whole thing coated. We're gonna set that off to the side and let it dry. So I'm gonna let that in there dry another 15-20 minutes. Now, if I didn't wear a glove, my hand would look like this, and it takes a lot of scrubbing or a day or so to get off. So we're gonna let that sit here and as soon as it dries, I'll go over the last couple of things I do to it. Okay, here we are back. Um, now that's dried. You can see it's kind of a mottled look. It's, a, it's still a darker, darker color. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back. We've got our same uh, scrubber brush. Um, come back with a. It's another folk art. This is steel gray. And now we're coming back and we're going to use the same dry brush. Well, we're actually going to do a really dry brush on this. Just um, make sure we get all the. You can see what I'm doing here. All right, we're gonna take this, we're gonna get our loader brush up, and then we're gonna get all of it out. Just I got a um, paper towel here on my lap, and we're rubbing all the paint out of it. And then this is where you just really have to, once you get that paint out, you have to really scrub it into it because it's um, we're taking almost every bit of the paint we put in out of it and this is a lighter gray and it's just hitting the very highlights of the of the top grain of that wood This leaves your crevices nice and dark. You got the two tones of gray on here. And you just add this to your, to what makes you happy as far as the look. I mean, you could go back and do it again and get it a little bit lighter. But um, Big thing is make sure you get as much paint out of that brush you can, so it just just does hit the highlights of the. the Okay, now you just got to do your ends the same way. Kind of go against the grain, not with it.
Okay. I work my way all the way around there. <clears throat> Next thing I do is I'm taking a little bit of the folk art. This is nutmeg. And we're going to we're going to really dry brush this. We just barely want any of this in on it. This just gives a little bit of a just a tad of shade of brown. I'm not even taking the gray out of my brush. But now you want all the brown out. And this just adds a tint. You don't do it all over the place. Just do it in sections. Just like this. Um, I mean, you may not even be able to see it on the camera there. Okay, guys. Yeah, I just ran out of tape right there. At the right there as I was brushing that. Anyway, we're gonna brush down the sides with the with that nutmeg. And you may want a little bit more brown on these sides because this was what would be actually because this is a floating dock gonna be actually touching the water. I mean, it's just. Um, you have a little bit of more variation in your colors on the side on the side there because it's going like I said it'd be in the water a lot of times. And it's still not really dark. You can just barely see the brown. Only other thing I do is if you ever look at docks stuff like that, I'm using this is just plain black. This is Anita's. And what we do here, whoops, oh gosh, way too much. I'm gonna take a little bit of black. And I have a smaller, same type scrubber brush. We're just gonna take that and go along this very bottom board here. That board, uh, this one, the way it sits in the water, it sits right along that board. So we're just taking that and we don't really load it up heavy, but we're just going to give it a really uh, light brushing, not not a consistent hard black, just a brushing of the that black around the edge there. It's not really heavily loaded, and I'm doing a really light brush. I'm not making it heavy. I'm not stroking hard. Clean it off on the table so I don't overload and get just a big blotch of black on the middle of it. Still see some of the gray through it. Without cleaning the brush, I come right back into the nutmeg. Gives you a little bit darker brown. And we're just really light brushing a little bit of that right along the top edge of that black. Gives you a little bit more discoloration right where it separates, right where the water line would be. Okay, anyway, 
that seems to be finished to me. It's um, just the way I did it. It kind of, um, it, it looks good for me. Uh, the only thing I have added to it is uh, for the deck here, we got uh, some cleats that go on here. Um, I hadn't glued these in place yet. I did have a diving board that I put on there. I painted it the same way and then I've got a small ladder just to make it all look kind of tie in what it supposed would really look like. But anyway, well I hope this helps. It's just one technique. There's a million others out there. Um, it kind of works for me. Um, just playing around until uh, I get it the way I want it to look. Uh, so I hope it helps. Um, and uh, this is the end of the video.